Hello, welcome to example 8 of the Sidekick Basic Kit for TI Launchpad. You can find the examples and documentation at energia.nu slash sidekick. In example 8, we are going to spin a motor using transistors. Transistors are commonly used electronic switches that can be used to control higher voltages. For this circuit, we will need a DC motor, two 2N2222 transistors, a diode, optional 330 ohm resistor, optional 100 nanofarad ceramic capacitor, five jumper wires, the breadboard booster pack, and a TI launch pad. Place your launch pad on the top or bottom of the breadboard booster pack. Now insert your breadboard booster pack into the breadboard along the middle spine. You can use either the 20 pin or 40 pin headers. All the example circuits utilize the first 20 pins, which gives us more space to work with on the breadboard. If you need additional inputs and outputs from the launch pad, you can use the 40 pins. If you need to remove your booster pack from the breadboard, use a rocking motion to easily free it. Do not pull directly on the booster pack or you may damage it. We will need to create a Darlington pair to create enough current to power our motor. The circuit is fully explained on the example page. Connect our motor to the circuit by threading jumper wires through the motor leads. We will tie one motor lead to our 5 volt pin and the other motor lead to our right transistor leg. Connect the second transistor's middle pin to the motor transistor's left pin. Connect the motor transistor's middle pin to pin 19 of the launch pad and connect the second transistor's left pin to ground and right pin to the right pin of the motor transistor. To finish the pair, use a capacitor and diode to prevent flyback. Use the include jumper wires to make the connections. Be very careful about wiring your transistors as it is possible to burn them out if wired incorrectly. If the transistors become very hot to the touch when powered, this is a sign of improper usage. Now let's get started with the software. First, plug your launchpad to your computer over USB. Now open up example 8 from the Sidekick code examples. This code will spin the motor and turn it off periodically. You can learn more about the concepts in the circuit online under the example page. And that's it. Now you can flash your launchpad with the upload button. Watch as the motor spins. If it is not, try hitting the reset button and go through the troubleshooting tips online under the example page. There are many more example circuits available with the Sidekick. Check out the Energia tutorials and refer to the Energia website for documentation and project ideas. Good luck!